Hello, I'm uh, Stan from Oregon Protocol, the engineer there. And let's see if this works. So, um, well, one of my colleagues, uh, Nick Origin Protocol, uh, was the uh, first person to actually implement uh, ERC-725 in actual code. And as a useful tool, we built this sort of minimal UI for interacting with it. Um, and I, I should, of course, say everything that we do at Origin Protocol is entirely open source. So what I'm about to show you uh, is on GitHub, just uh, at our, uh, our repo under Origin Identity Playground. Uh, and we hope this acts as kind of a hello world for if you want to play around with ERC-725 and just uh, want to just fire it up and like play around with what's possible, kind of at the, not quite at the contract level, but you don't want to build a whole UI, uh, but you can just play around with the, with the guts, this is the tool for you. So what we have are, um, we have identities, which is just uh, the contracts that are played on, represents me or you or whomever. And then we have the claim issuers, which technically under the hood is just another identity. So you know that could be uh, the U.S. government or Coinbase or Twitter or whomever. Um, but in this demo, that's just a, in a separate column there. Uh, and then you have uh, claim checkers, which are contracts which want to know something like, does this person really have a Twitter account, or is this person really who they say they are on Facebook, or does Coinbase say they have KYC information on this person, or Whatever. Um, so we can uh, play around here. Uh, let's deploy the ever popular Alice, right? And uh, voila, now we have a contract deployed on the blockchain for Alice, and it's an empty ERC-725 contract sitting out there. And uh, just for fun, we can add like a self-claim, right? And just say, full name is Alice Jones. I'm just making this up. Uh, so that's just a self-claim, not, not horribly interesting, but now we have a contract with a claim about it. Um, so now let's do something a little more interesting, uh, and we'll switch to a different wallet, because that makes a lot more sense, and make uh, an issuer. And um, so let's make this be us, the UX unconf, right? So now we have another identity on the blockchain, which is the conference. And now it can issue claims about other identities out there. And uh, let's say, actually, let's make a checker now, right? Uh, let's say it's like a, uh, like a super secret lunch, right? Just only for people that came to this conference. And it, it's trust the UX conference. It wants to only accept people from that. Uh, and it only wants people who are verified. Um, these are those uh, claim types, which Bobby mentioned, like, which we need to standardize uh, what means what. Uh, but at origin, this is what we're just using so far. So here we can have our super secret thing. And let's check. We're going to check on Alice. And Alex is not verified at this moment. So now we can tell that Alex has not been verified by the UX conference and won't be allowed into this super secret event, right? Uh, but now we go back to Origin. Picture on the right wallet. Uh, Origin can add a claim on another identity. And we're going to add a claim on Alice that she is verified. And we're just going to be whatever. He's cool. So now Origin has made this claim about Alice. And the last step is uh, Alice has not approved this claim about her. So maybe she doesn't want to be uh, associated with the UX on conference. Um, but she definitely does. So we'll switch. I'm going to switch my wallet now back to the wallet that I used for Alice and approve. Yes. And so now, for the like finale, we switch back 
to our super secret, and we switch over to that identity, we can check again. We want to check. Alice. Uh oh. Where's the rest of the guys? Sorry? You issued it from wrong. Yeah. You issued it from origin instead of UX icon. Ah. Wait, what did I do wrong? Sorry? You, you, you issued the, uh, the claim. You verified sure. using the origin wallet instead of the UX icon. Yeah, the claim comes from the wrong person, basically. Yeah. From the wrong wallet. The origin yeah. said that he or she can come, but nobody. Oh, gotcha. So this came from origin, right. not UX comp. There we go. So let's add, so origin has claimed this, but our super secret event doesn't trust origin, it trusts the UX conference identity. So that's why we're failing. Live debugging, this is great. So we can uh, make another claim from this identity about Alice. But she is verified. No. And now, switch back to Alice. Alice has another claim about her that she would like to approve. And we switch back. Go back to our checker here. And she's out. So that's the, the entire flow. Um, so, and this is like a trivial thing with just this like fake unconference, but uh, probably a slightly more useful, we've implemented what we call a bridge server to uh, existing applications. Because right now, uh, Facebook and Twitter and Coinbase and everyone uh, does not have ERC-725 identities out there which can make claims about people. So instead you have essentially like a proxy where we have set up a, like a stub uh, server which you can log in via OAuth in the traditional old sense uh, to GitHub or Twitter or whatever. And then it, it will verify, oh yeah, this person definitely is who they say they are on GitHub, and then it issues the claim. And so, and actually- It goes on chain. All the claims are on chain. The claims are on chain. So there's this brief moment of centralized where you are on a server controlled by origin, which is the one which gets the callback from Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and then it issues the claim on chain. So you have this extra thing you have to trust that, that origin uh, bridge in the middle. Um, but of course, anyone can deploy their own uh, bridge to make those same claims. Uh, and I think Josh, you're probably demo this better in the, Josh is gonna demo the prettier UI, and since this is a UX conference, I'll leave it to him, but uh, you can uh, check right now, like Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, uh, and uh, I think Airbnb, uh, those, so. Uh, I will leave it at that so we have more time on the actual pretty implementation. Josh? But maybe uh, to say in, in the middle of this, um, whatever you add, like, I mean, you don't have to add a claim which says it's your Twitter account. It can also be just Twitter says you exist or you exist. I mean, the data itself doesn't need to be necessarily revealed to the claim. It can be just a reference to the data which you can then check through another process off-chain or wherever it is checked in the API or Twitter or whatever. Yeah, we so, talked about like, just like someone is uh, an accredited investor, just like yes, no, would be a great claim to come from a bank or something like that. Mm -hmm. Country. Oh, I'll drive. That would be great. I was having problems connecting to the internet here since Sam is offered to, to drive. So uh, I'm Josh Fraser, I'm one of the co-founders of Origin Protocol. And we're creating decentralized marketplaces on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, specifically, we're building developer tools for uh, anyone of you to be able to create your own decentralized marketplace on the blockchain. Um, think of things like decentralized Uber or decentralized Airbnb. Um, we'll try and create all the infrastructure you need to create uh, a marketplace like that. Um, and there's four big reasons you'd want to do that. One is you know, cut up a middleman, cut up the fees that go with it. Um, you remove that single point of failure. You know, we've seen Uber and Airbnb get banned in cities all over the world. Um, we can also reward the early participants. If you're going to go up against these multi-billion dollar companies, uh, you better have a good strategy on how you're going to incentivize those first users uh, to get on board, even when you know, the user experience, let's face it, 
is quite challenging, you know, um, as we're all discussing uh, this morning. So how do we incentivize those people to do it? And of course, talking economics uh, gives us some idea on how we might be able to uh, incentivize people to get on board and reward them uh, when uh, the, you know, for the value that we're creating in the network. Uh, and lastly, we've got two billion people on this planet who are cut out from using existing marketplaces. You're not welcome on Uber and Airbnb if you don't have a credit card. Uh, but for billions of people on the planet, uh, they have access to an Android phone uh, and therefore have access to cryptocurrency. And for billions of people on this planet, we really believe uh, the very first digital marketplace in Canada we're going to use is going to be built on decentralized technology like what we're building, like what people in this room are building uh, today. So that's a brief overview. Um, what we, you know, as Sen said, we were we built one of the first implementations of ERC 725. Um, when we looked at a standard, we said this is exactly what we're looking for. Um, we want a way of doing public profiles. Um, we're building on the blockchain. Everything we're doing is, is sort of public anyway. Um, so it fits a model, a privacy model for what we're trying to do, um, where the transactions that you're doing on the blockchain are public, right? You're trying to establish your reputation over time as you're buying, buying and selling across these different types of marketplaces. Let's create one universal uh, identity, your public profile. Let's um, verify a little bit about who you are, and then people will feel more comfortable transacting with you. I don't want to invite a stranger into my home unless I have some sense of, you know, who this person is, a really good person, or not going to destroy my place. Uh, and then we also want it to be portable, right? We want to have an identity that you can go from across different types of marketplaces or even completely unrelated applications and have your identity just magically follow along with you. And ERC 725 gives us all of that. Um, Identity is also this really important thing that we found is critical for all of the other features that we want to build and are critical for a marketplace. If you want to do reputation or reviews, if you're doing messaging, if you're doing arbitration, if you're doing insurance, all of these other features that you really want to have in a decentralized marketplace rely on having some sense of who that person is in your side of the transaction. Uh, and so that's, that's um, what we built. Um, this is our DAP, it's live on Rinkley and Rockston uh, today at demo.originportal.com. Uh, you're welcome to play with it, you can actually post a listing. Uh, right now it's pretty uh, simple, so it's more like a Craigslist style application, uh, but you can create any sort of listing you'd like, publish that um, on the testnet, and this will be on mainnet um, in early October, so um, look for that. So you can see here some of the, the listings that we have. You can uh, see which ones have been sold by you know, people like me and getting around with it. Uh, and if we go up to the top here, uh, we'll take a look at how we attach identity to this um, wallet that we have. So click on uh, the second up here, you see our address. Right now we're just an anonymous user. The address is coming in through MetaMask. Um, if you click on unnamed user there, you can go in and see what uh, what this looks like. So I'm just an unnamed user, I'm just an, uh, an Ethereum address, uh, and that can be known, it's, you know, if, that's, if you want to be known as 0x564a, etc., you're welcome to, you know, um, try and transact on our platform like that. Whatever other buyers and sellers will want to do business with you, um, remains to be seen. Maybe there's some context where that is totally appropriate. Um, but in a lot of cases, you're going to want to um, make self-claims about who you are. So in this case, um, I'll, let's, I'm, I'm happy to be known as, as Josh Fraser. Maybe we can, we can add that in there. And um, well, we can add a little bio, uh, something fun about me. <coughs> and uh, Sam, do you have any nice pictures? Of you? Uh, uh, just a folder full of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, 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 uh, let's, let's see. Oh, this, this might be a little creepy here. Uh, let's see. Probably screenshots. Then we can add some more screenshots. Random movies. Perhaps just click anything random and if 
something matches up. Uh, yeah, where is it? Uh, don't, don't worry about it, we'll just... Uh, Let's see, what's this? So it's a beach. Uh, that, 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 that works for me. I love the office. The office, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I like to know uh, that it's beautiful view. This is a boulder office from Madison. This is a boulder, this is a boulder office with an amazing view. You ever find yourself very 